Let's read the problem carefully and underline what we need. John received $10,000 from his grandparents. He invested the money in an account paying 2.5% interest, so let's underline that, compounded semi-annually. So this is the most important keyword, compounded semi-annually, because when you have the word compounded, it means you will use the formula for compound interest. How much money will he have in the account after four years? Round the answer to the nearest cent. So here is the compound interest formula. A stands for the future value or for the total amount of money in the account after so many years. So this is the full description of the formula. P is the principal, R is the interest rate, and N right here in the denominator and also N in the power n is the number of times the interest is compounded per year so if it's written semi-annually it means n equals to 2 it means the interest is compounded twice per year so let's list what we are given here so we are given the principal p equals ten thousand dollars interest rate is 2.5 percent and um, um, n, which is the number of times the interest is compounded per year, which is n equals 2, and time equals 4 years, t equals 4. We have to be careful because the interest rate needs to be written as a decimal. So let's, um, um, let's write rate as a decimal, rate as a decimal decimal how do we do that so we need to change 2.5 percent into a decimal how do we do that we divide 2.5 by 100 and we will have 0 0.025 or you move the decimal point two places um, to the left all right, I think we have everything we need to plug in into our formula and find, and find the answer. So let's do it slowly. So A stands for the future value or for the total amount of money in the account after so many years. So let's carefully plug in into the formula. So P is 10,000, so 10,000, very good, times, in the parentheses we have 1 plus, and look, we are using 2.5% um, as a decimal. So be careful, plug in the decimal. So 0 0.025 divide by n. n is compounded semi-annually, so n equals 2. So divide by 2. And be careful, we have the power here. You see the power? So 2 times 4, because it's written n times t. Very good, very good. What do we do? Let's simplify the power so that it's easy for us to see what's happening. So 2 times 4 is 8. So we are raising everything to the power of 8. Very good, very good. Thank you for focusing with me and doing a good job. I hope this is helpful to you. What do we do next? Let's work within the parentheses let's simplify what we have what do we have we have division so let's take care of this division right so let's take care of this number okay so i like colors it helps me see okay so ten thousand very good times and just um, grab the calculator and we will do the division so 0 0.025 divide by 2 we will have 0 0.0125 and everything to the power of 8. Very good. What do we do next? We still have to take care of parentheses. So let's add 1, right? So we're almost there. Again, 10,000. I'm writing everything. So you know what's happening in this formula, right? So, so you're not missing anything. So 1.01. .01 two five that's the answer in in the parenthesis and everything is raised to the power of eight very good very good what do we do next we must take care of this exponent right we must raise 
1.0125 to the power of 8 right here so very good so let's find out that number so i have um, in my calculator i have a button with a ca carrot on it so check uh, check your scientific calculator so you know how to raise to the power of eight so raising to the power of eight very good so what do we have rewriting again ten thousand times and here's the number after raising to the power one point ten forty four 86101 and only now we will multiply by our principal so multiply by 10000 and we will have 11000 44.86101 very good but we need to to round the number to the nearest cent so let's look what we have here so our knee our cent is here right 86 so we need to round it let's look at the number to the right of six it is one so it means we're keeping 86 cents right hold on right here so our answer will be so eleven thousand forty four eleven thousand forty four dollars and eighty six cents but if the number to the right of six were five six seven eight or nine then we will round up to 87 cents so here's our answer this is the total amount of money in the account after four years eleven thousand forty four dollars and eighty six cents i hope this is helpful to you keep up the good work and i will see you in my next video